My name is Gloria Sanders Hadatunyan. I am the manager of special events here at AGBU. And on behalf of AGBU, the Armenian Radio Hour of New Jersey, St. Leon Armenian Church, and the Tekehan Cultural Association, thank you for being here with us tonight. Abedis Hadjian was at the AGBU central office in New York City on Tuesday, October the 30th, to present his book, Secret Nation. The format for the book presentation was a very informal one-on-one -on -one interview between Avedis and the moderator for the evening, Rafi Khachadurian. Rafi is a journalist and staff writer at The New Yorker. Some 70 people attended the event to learn more about the secret Armenians, living in historic Armenian lands in eastern Turkey. For many years, it was assumed no Armenians remained in eastern Turkey following the genocide of 1915. But over the past two or three decades, more and more of these secret Armenians have been emerging and courageously sharing their Armenian origins. It took Abedis Hajan over two years to travel throughout eastern Turkey, through towns and villages, to discover the people of the secret nation. He interviewed Armenians living as Muslims in Dikranaged, in Sasun, Kharper, Sepastia, Van. Abedis Hajan discussed at length the Hamshans living on the shores of the Black Sea. These hidden Armenians are scattered all over the historic Armenian lands. Most of them are of mixed ancestry, of Muslim faith. Among them are Imams, who are aware of their Armenian origin, but little else. Among some hidden Armenians were people with Armenian first and last names, and this 100 years after the genocide speaking different, almost extinct Armenian dialects with present-day spoken Armenian foreign to them, some even referring to Armenia as Haik, after being separated for a thousand years, they find each other diasporan Armenian and Islamized Armenians. It was a very impressive lecture indeed. Abedis Hajan is a journalist and writer based in Venice and educated in Buenos Aires and Cambridge. He has written for the Los Angeles Times, Le Monde Diplomatique, and Bloomberg News. His work as a correspondent has taken him to Eastern Europe, former Soviet Union, China, Turkey, Latin America. He has also lived in New York. Secret Armenian is highly, highly recommended. And the uh, Hamshans, uh, even though there is no certain evidence about that, they started converting to Islam. But somehow, even though now all the Hamshans that still are in Turkey are Muslim, they retained their Armenian dialect. And but they don't consider themselves to be Armenian. Well, they didn't until 20 years ago. Um, thanks to the internet and thanks to certain um, liberalization in Turkey and with more access to information, they began seeing that um, uh, there was some substance to the rumors that they would hear from time to time that they were originally Armenian uh, because it would happen that some Hamshenses who migrated to Istanbul and uh, would overhear Armenian, they would understand parts of it, and they would be taken aback because, as you know, in Turkey, usually nationalities and religions are associated, and these Hamshenses who, were, who didn't even remotely know about their origins and who thought of themselves as a Turkish nation who spoke um, a distinct dialect, and that was all about it, um, would they wouldn't understand why they would understand Christians. Uh, I know it doesn't make sense to us, right? But to them, is um, it was very shocking. And, um, and to you, in two thousand nine, in the movie theater, watching this movie about this community. Yes. Was it shocking to you? I mean, clearly, it's, it, it did something to you because. You well, yes. Yeah.